Joe. Okay, thanks. Good morning. So uh, I've been asked to just say a few words to welcome you to CERN. So, so actually, my title is um, Project Leader of WLCG, which is what I'll talk about. It's the Worldwide LHC Computing Grid, although grid is probably not the word we would choose to use these days. Um, and inside the IT department, I also have overview on the scientific computing activities. So that's what I do. Okay, so I'm going to just say a few words about CERN itself. Um, I'm glad to see a lot of people uh, are new to CERN, so I probably haven't seen this before. So CERN is an organization which is 60 years old. Um, it was founded under the UNESCO Science for Peace program at the end of the war, after the war. Uh, to try and bring together several of the European states. Um, so it started with 12 states. Today it's 22, and you can see the list there. The member states, um, we have some other classes of membership, so these are basically states which are applying to join CERN in some form. Um, and then there's a number of observers to our council um, they're observers because essentially they give money to CERN and they participate in the scientific programs. So we have about 2,300 staff. This is a fixed number, or this is fixed by the council um, to keep the costs down. Uh, we have about 1,500 other people that we pay. So these are, these are postdocs, um, training, trainees, and so on. Um, but our scientific community is much bigger. So there's, there's something like 12,000, 13,000 scientific users registered to work on experiments at CERN. Um, and so typically there's about 8,000 people on site at any one time. And our budget is a billion francs a year, which sounds like a lot until you see the machines and stuff that we spend the money on. And you'll notice that the money doesn't really go into the buildings. Uh, if, you, if you go to the toilet, you'll see where the money doesn't go. <coughs> okay, so what are we doing? Um, so obviously we have a scientific mission. This is really understanding the structure of the universe and what goes on there. Um, there are subsidiary missions. We're developing technologies for accelerators, obviously, and the detectors. Um, and out of that, as a synergy with that, we, we develop information technology, Obviously, the web is something you're all familiar with. Um, what you may not know so much is that there's a lot of what you're familiar with in the medical world, so, so diagnostics, uh, scanners, and so on. A lot of that technology, uh, Linux for, for cancer treatment, a lot of that technology came from CERN and other similar labs. 